about it, guys. Well, he are getting up, getting ready to get motivated. We got eight, a little over 1,800 miles to do between today and Friday. Can we do it? Well, the mathematicals says it's possible. But we can't screw around. Uh, cannot be bumping our 14 hour rule to make this happen. Some people were like, that ain't possible, that ain't possible. Folks, you gotta just get down and do it. That's all there is to it. We, uh, we've made this circle before. It is possible. On e-logs without fudging it with the personal conveyance. You just gotta put it to it. Hey, granted, you ain't doing it, probably not gonna knock it out with a 65 mile an hour truck. But it is possible. So what we gotta do, gotta go get, get rid of our rocks. Then we gotta go get loaded. Got a rock in my boot. Got a rock in my boot! And I will say, making this salute was a whole lot easier when I did it on paper. Just gonna throw that out there. We're gonna do the e log crawl out of here the best we can. Uh, it was a whole lot easier to do on paper. But what's different than e-logs of paper if you're running it legally? Nephew, please. <laughs> that just worked out better. Let me put it that way. We could run, utilize our day like yesterday. I was in there eating dinner about the time I would have been arriving in St. Genevieve. If I wouldn't have ran out of, if I, if I wouldn't have been short on hours, I could have made it to St. Genevieve last night. Uh, I didn't go to bed till nine o'clock. Wasn't tired till nine o'clock. That, 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 that's the ordeal there. This right circle was a whole lot easier on paper. That, that's all there is to it. I, I, I would be less tired and more productive. Plain and simple. And if you're wondering about what the e-log crawl is, it is literally staying under five mile an hour. Until you get get out of the parking lot. Wonder what stresses truck drivers out. Well, people do. <laughs> uh, we made it through St. Louis. Unfortunately, that goes a long way. That, it's gonna mess us up a little bit. It's fine. We'll make it work. Before we get up here and get up on the scale, I'm gonna just guess my weight real quick. I'm gonna say we're about 78.5. Uh, we're just under half tank fuel. He loaded me about a thousand pounds lighter than what we usually are. I'm gonna go with 78.5. Let's get it out of the way right now. All right, we're gonna get it through on the scale.
pounds off. We are unloaded. It's been 17 minutes from the time we pulled over here. Broke our chains loose. Got unloaded and now rolling. We gotta go across the scale. Uh, we've been here, looks like close to 30 minutes total. Um, you know, it's me pulling in, changing duty status, going inside, checking in. And uh, getting back out to the truck, coming up here, um, doing all that. So we're not doing too terrible yet. Other than a little hiccup up with St. Louis this morning, we're not doing terrible. So hopefully we can keep it up. All right, we made it here. Get loaded. Uh, already got fuel, so we don't have to worry about stopping to get fuel today. Uh, I'm gonna plan my 30 minute break tomorrow around fueling tomorrow because once I get or at a certain point that I remember because I, I don't know I can't remember if I've done this run since I've been back on the road or not I don't think I have I delivered to these guys but I think it's down in Liberal not up or yeah Liberal not up at their main yard but uh, funny I go to check in and they write everybody's name down and the guy that checked in in front of me his name is Clint too so he was out there strapping down so I walked over and introduced him asked him if he was Clint and he goes yeah he looked kind of confused I said me too shook his hand and <laughs> not often that you get two Clint's in a row at the same place well they're going all over the place they got Four forklifts over here. <laughs> uh, oh, fun times, fun times. Yeah. Old junkyard mole commented on the last video. <laughs> Looks like food to me. Good luck. We're gonna need it. <laughs> you know what they said in Smokey and the Bandit? It's only 900 miles there and 900 miles back. Well, it ain't been done, especially not an old truck. Well, it ain't ever been done by us. <laughs> All right, we are loaded up. Checking our weight. 79, 860, and we're pretty well full of fuel, so. We still got over five and a half hours of drive time, so. We can make some time. Mathematically, we're golden. As long as nothing happens. <laughs> oh man. Let's get on the road. Make some miles. Let's put some miles behind us, Bellas and Bellettes. Well, we've made it further than I thought I was going to make it, actually. Um, my original plan was to make it to Norwood, Missouri, which is still over on the 60. I actually made it all the way up here to Hoods. Um, it's still a family-owned mom-and-pop truck stop. They still pump the fuel for you here and wash your windows. Well... They get some of the bugs off anyway. I won't say I won't say it's always perfect, but they do a pretty good job. Uh, those of you who aren't familiar with this, this is still a mom and pop place. Uh, last I checked, they still do mud flap or they do mud flap here. Like I said, they pump your fuel for you, uh, wash your windows. Uh, got a restaurant right there. I think they got a CB shop. I might run in there real quick too, but. Uh, yeah we're gonna stay here tonight i'm gonna run over and get me a shower and get me some grub and see what kind of mischief i can get into all right one of the guys commented on one of my videos saying it's too dark you need more lights i'm gonna show you what we got going for lighting this is how the truck set up whenever i got in you got 
LED lights to white lights, I think they suck. And it don't help you got red and blue. They don't help none. Got these old dingy lights here. These are actually pr probably the best ones in the truck. I'm, I put some of them white ones in Snowball. I replaced all the, all the interior lights, even, even the dome light up front or in the middle, however you want to put it. I replaced them all with the white LEDs. Thinking, man, they'll be bright. They were brighter to look at, but we got the result that we're seeing right now where honestly, these are the brighter lights. I turn around and things get dark. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I know red and blue, yeah. But these, I must say these old yellow lights are the brighter than the white LEDs. Bug killing season. I can tell by looking at my windshield. I don't think I can ever say it enough. This, this is like one of my most favorite spots to go through. I know at least on 400. I mean, I would almost go out and say it's one of my favorite spots in general because, I mean, you can see just for miles. You can see it that way for miles. You can see that way for pretty good, you know, miles. Man, it ain't hundreds of miles but you can see probably five or six miles that way right well, really good ways going looking north it's a couple miles across there to the other side it's just a neat little area that kind of got cool out here put things over some straps we gotta fix our look at my tarp on the other side Still tight. Oh, I ran through some bull crap. There you go. <laughs> it got a little cool out there. <laughs> All right. In and out. Got four minutes. Let's go. Hey, choo choo train. Hey, choo choo. Eh, he kind of honked back. <laughs> Woke him up, he's playing on TikTok or something. <laughs> there ain't a lot of places on this route to pull in to use bathroom check straps, so I'm gonna take advantage of this spot right here. So according to the GPS, aka Google, there is 120 miles left. Let's see what's going on back there. Yeah, a truck coming. <laughs> Only two hours, a little over two hours left to go here. That guy pulling over, what's he doing here? I think whoever designed these roads in Kansas just took a straight edge ruler and just went, Doop. that's how we're putting the roads across here. Very slight bends in the road when you turn. It's like, here, yep. Now we're going straight. Just about set the cruise control, go back, make this image, take a slight nap. You know, if they had rumble strips, you probably could get by with it. Especially if you got a truck to drive straight. Dang God, this is a boring drive. Only 20 miles out. Yeah, another 
chilly out uh, checking the weather and it was showing it was only 49 degrees over here. them guys are out there in full-on winter gear uh, hey gum crazy yeah, they're on full-on winter gear out here right now <laughs> but put our boots on in here Looks like somebody's already did some landscaping there now me swing your wide swing your wide swing your wide let's look at it see how bad it is holy crap I think it's demolished this tarp just came on down completely oh man well, things aren't going to quite go as I was hoping. Um, I thought mathematically I could make this turn and be able to do it, but I got, I don't know, just under three and a half hours. And it's just a smidge too far. So, uh, 273 is what the... Google says is the mileage. I gotta replan my fuel stop. I was thinking something different when it comes to getting fuel or where I, the route I was going anyway. So I gotta figure something different out because this ain't gonna work. Uh, so we're gonna get going here. I mean, we still got almost you know five hours or so um yeah we still got almost five and a half hours of dry or a 14 hour time so we still got some screw off time how long have we been here been here 48 minutes um these guys are awesome I, this is probably out of all the places i deliver this material to this is probably the my favorite guys to work with on doing this this and drive truck drivers nuts. Ain't nobody for miles. I mean, there's one car right behind us, but they're a good ways back before there's anybody. And these two boneheads pull right out in front of me. They ain't even up to speed yet. It's like, really? They sat there. I mean, there's a good ways in front of me. They were sitting at the stop sign for, I don't know, I was sitting there watching them for a good while and they wait till right up on them. Bunch of boneheads. And we got 13 minutes left of drive time. Uh, down to about a, a eighth of a tank of fuel, just above the red on the E. So we're gonna pull in and get some fuel. I was worried about getting parking here, being it's six o'clock, but I can scope the parking lot out on my way in. We're good, so we're gonna get some fuel, go get parked up. Uh, Grab us, maybe come in and get us a burger or something. We're gonna turn our heater valves on while we're getting fuel here, though. Now this is an ideal parking spot right here. Spots are a little narrow, but if you can pull straight out in the morning. Uh, wind was killer. 5.17. That's crazy. Our burnout. Yep, we well, we're gonna get things finished up. Like I said, I'm sorry about the lights, guys, but we're gonna watch us some Cletus. 
And we're gonna edit a little bit of video. Try to get things ready where I don't do so much at home. Um, We're watching, well, we're doing everything on our computer now, so try to do a little bit of our editing. I'm sorry that this video is kind of taking a little longer, but to me, it makes more sense to try to put this challenge in one video versus three separate ones and trying to pick up where I left off at on, you know, multiple videos. It's kind of a pain in the butt, so. Onward to tomorrow. All right, guys, we are doing our walkabout. Make sure I didn't knock my mud flaps off. I almost screwed up last night. I backed in and I was sitting in the truck and uh, sitting after sitting there for a while, the trailer brakes popped off and. So I got cold, so I started the truck up. And, well, once the truck built air pressure, I went ahead and released trailer brakes. Then I realized the tractor brakes are still released. I guess it's a good thing I was uh, not a curb here, but there's a curb there. I've been a statistic. <laughs> so, I was looking at my mileage last night. Oh. Uh, Wednesday I did 647 miles last night. I did 646 miles Already odds me being only one mile apart two days in a row uh, Crazy We're uh, getting our logs ready to go Try to get everything ready. We're gonna go out to Brian's get loaded uh if we run I-70, which I hate doing, but if we run I-70, it is 500 miles to where we got to unload. And pretty well the same mileage to the house. So. But doing the 600, you know, close to 650 miles, that takes up our extra 100 miles that we'd had to do today. Uh, if we make it over and deliver, awesome. If not, we'll just go home. <laughs> I got phone numbers. I call people. So, I guess we need to get things set. Get everything ready to go. Sing it, George. Sing it. Finally Friday. Woohoo! Let's go. I don't know. Something about daylight saving. That's the stupidest thing ever. I told you. He's up here waiting in the loader for me. Got the lights on and everything. Probably ready to set the first rock on before I'm going to get stopped. <laughs> That's all right. It's all good. We are loaded up. Yeah, I think it's 400 miles back, roughly. Uh, beautiful sunrise over the countryside I'm gonna go visit this guy for a minute but uh we're loaded I knocked a bunch of rocks off little pieces I missed over here on the trailer he must have came off while I was up top and didn't see him gotta get all the big stuff we can off so we're gonna get ready to roll maybe try to get this unloaded today I gotta call and see what time they're gonna go home so Yes, I got chains on everything. They're hard to see in the video, but there's three chains there, two chains there, two chains there. I got it covered. Tell the warmer weather is upon us. The uh, ice cream stands are opening back up. Got the window world down. Don't buy it. It's a lemon. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. One bit right now. 
starting to get tired. Ready to go home and dig a nip. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know how many miles I've done this week. I know we pretty well ran out our clock almost every day. Uh, whether our 14 or our 11 hour, we've we ran it down to, you know, either way, we've, we've worked within, you know, less than an hour, uh, you know, with, with less than an hour of time to work. So we, we've been, we've been pushing it this, this week. Get about all we could. Wonder if there'll be more rally cars over here in Patosa. Or they're still confused if they're booyers or boyers. <laughs> I know what they usually when they do the rally in the woods, the hundred acre rally they call it. They usually st stage up here in uh, Tosi. Ain't that some fire danger low today? Smoky Bear said so. There's some subies. Subi, Subi. We must be getting close to rally cars. Or Camaro. There's more Subis there. I want to see rally cars. I'm going to rally race. I always wanted a rally race. Yeah, they got their road closed. Are they closed for construction or rally racing? American Rally Association. Where are rally cars at? Then we're putting a new loves in here on this exit. Uh, this is the main exit into Freighter Town. Uh, this piece of property just right here in this northwest corner. Uh, loves going in there and literally right across the road is the main DLG man's house. Ain't that convenient. <laughs> I keep telling, telling his wife that she's all upset about it. I said, I'll be convenient for you. He won't even have to leave the house. He can just sit out there at the end of the driveway all day just flagging trucks to pull over. <laughs> she, so, yeah, we're going to be getting the loves down here. That ought to be fun. And no, I don't have anything going on with the DOT man's wife. She's just really good friends with my wife. Just to clarify. I'm so excited. Everything's turning green. I love it when you come home. Every couple of weeks, all the trees will be green through here. I love it coming through here and all the grass is starting to turn green. That feels freshly plant planted. Fresh hay. Woo! Springtime's coming. Hey, Kelly, that's my spot open today. Jerk wide. Roscoe! Roscoe! <laughs> Misty don't know what to do. Roscoe ain't barking at him. There he is. so far back we're going way up in the grass 
this kid is going to kill him. There we go. Sitting here figuring it up. All the miles are in just this week. We're at 3,024. Ain't bad in five days. Uh, right at right at 3,000 for the past three days. Let's see here. 335 plus 646 plus 647. Or eight, not 3,000. 1828 is what I did since Wednesday. That ain't bad, is it? A lot of work. But this is what I'm going to tell you I'm doing. We're going to finish what we're doing here. We're shutting this truck off. And we're going to get ready to head to the house. I am beat. That's a lot of ground to cover in five days. And just imagine... There was time on the table that could have been done on Tuesday because um, I ran out of time on my 14 and the only reason I didn't run my time out on Monday was because I didn't have enough time to get to the next stopping point so I could have ran even further than that so we could have probably had close to a 3,500 mile week <laughs> if we, well, 30, let's say 3,300 mile week but y'all stay safe out there i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know it's a little long but hey we tried to cram three days in the one video so let me know what you think you like this style video more than you do the short ones or the daily videos let me know uh, but we're gonna go home relax for the weekend recoup y'all stay safe out there god bless you and don't go cliff diving